So lesson we're going to be covering a quick setup of the editor that I'm going to be using in the upcoming lessons, and that's going to be Visual Studio Code. So that's available at code.visualstudio.com. It's an open source editor, and right on the main page, you can select the version and download it and install it. And I'm going to be using one of the add-ons that comes, or the extensions that come with Visual Studio Code. Uh, so this is going to allow us to make Ajax requests, and it's going to provide us an easier way to make Ajax requests. I've got the editor opened on the left-hand side, so this is Visual Studio Code. I've created an index file, a file called app.js, and another one called data.txt. Uh, so these are going to be used in order to retrieve content from the data file using JavaScript and update it within the web page to complete the Ajax process. The ed the editor also is going to come with an extension, and this extension is going to allow us to run live server. So that allows us to run a file from our editor directly within the browser using the HTTP protocol. So that's going to be when we open up the file, and in the left right-hand side within the browser, you can see that we're running within the IP address of 127.0.0.1 using the port of 5500 and then forward slash the file. So these files are all going to be contained on the root directory within the folder. And the extension that I'm using is called Live Server. If you open up the extensions within the Visual Studio Code Editor, you can select Live Server from there. And this will give you more information about what's available. As you can see, it's a very popular download with 19 million downloads. And what it does is it allows you to run your local workspace as a web server and simulating the same that you'd have running a web server. So when you upload your files, this is the same effect that you'd have. And this is very useful for making Ajax requests as we're going to be making requests to other files. So it provides a local development server that we can use. So once you have that selected, install it, and then you can run the live web server. So set up a workspace within the editor create an index file, and then open with live server, and that will open up the file. So now anything that I write within the file is going to automatically, when I save it, we're going to be able to see the results directly within the pit web page. So once you're set up and ready to code, you're ready to move on to the next lesson. We're going to be making an Ajax request to the data file.